Blessings, everyone. Welcome to Muli Sating Daily Devotions. And it's our weekender. As we go back to Psalm 117, sabi natin, the shortest psalm in the whole Psalter. And only two verses uh, short. But we have been uh, gleaning a lot of uh, wonderful truths from it. So let me share my Bible with you as we look at the last section of this psalm. And by way of review, discuss natin yung mga nauna natin mga napag-usapan. Sabi nga sa verse 1 to 2, looking at the whole Psalter or the whole psalm, Praise the Lord, all nations. Extol Him, all peoples. For great is His steadfast love toward us, and the faithfulness of the Lord endures forever. Praise the Lord. And again, uh, sabi po natin, ang awit na ito nagsimula at nagtapos sa phrase na Hallelujah, praise the Lord. At the beginning of the verse, praise the Lord at the end of the verse. Telling us that our life should start in, in with praising the Lord. And of course, kasama na in between, that we ought to develop a life of gratitude, of, of praising the Lord. Right? And sa... Uh, so far, we have seen uh, mga napakahusay ng mga katotohanan upang uh, maging uh, motivation natin to develop a life of praise. Una-una, sabi natin, we boast in the Lord's sovereignty. And again, don't ever forget that the the word halel is also seen in Jeremiah um, 9 uh, wherein we si um ang 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 Panginoon Dios through the prophet uh, uh, Jeremiah has said let 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 not the wise man boast in his wisdom let not the mighty man boast in his might and this is pointing to yung yung every word na na um boast doon ay nagpapatungkol po sa salitang halel right and so the word here in this um, some is telling us if you would want to boast in anything, boast in the Lord. To be boasting in, to be putting our trust in the Lord. And what about the Lord? Ano dapat ang ating sandigan? Ano ba dapat ating ipagyabang? Or ano dapat nating uh, um, parangalan? That He is sovereign over all. It reads, sovereign over all nations. Praise the Lord, all nations. At ang sinasabi sa atin dito po ay um, ang Panginoong Diyos ay in control. He is sovereign over everything, over, over all the nations, over all what's what's happening uh, all throughout the nations. And this is telling us that God orchestrates or God allows everything to happen and so He is... Um, the ruler, the divine ruler, the sovereign ruler, and so therefore we ought not to be um concerned, right? We ought to always be mindful that whatever happens, he is in control. So ito ay kaparaanan para magkaroon tayo ng, ng puso na nagpapasalamat at nagupur sa Diyos. Another thing that nabanggit dito ng uh, awit is that we extol Him all peoples. Not only are we supposed to be boasting in God's sovereignty, that He is sovereign over all, we also should be celebrating His redemptive uh, plan or His redemptive power. Papa natin sinabing ito redemptive power. Well, extol Him has a sense of celebrating all peoples. Kung paano nagsimula ang Awit na ito, with the sovereignty of God over the big things, and He's now showing us that He is also sovereign over the little things. He's sovereign over all the nations. He's sovereign over uh, those uh, little aspects of nations, families, peoples, right? Meaning, sa konteksto ng ating uh, um, pag-uusap, we, we celebrate how God is sovereign over our salvation, coming from different walks of life, different economic backgrounds, different edu educational attainments, different culture, and in fact, races. Diba? And yet we are one. 
paano ba daw dapat tayo mag-develop ng lifestyle lifestyle of praise or heart of gratitude we uh, um celebrate or we um embrace God, God's conquering mighty love sabi natin po yung the word great is the word gabar kung saan ito ay hindi lang basta great kundi ito ay isang salita sa original language that tells us of that, that has a picture of a mighty conquering warrior and this is beautiful we 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 develop a a lifestyle of praise when we understand that God's love even his love is a conquering mighty warrior kung paano uh, um tinalo ng Diyos ang ating pagnanasang mamuhay para sa ating sarili when He saved us. Again, if we understand the doctrines of grace, we would go back to the truth that God has uh, um, um, chosen us even before the foundation of the world. And so, while we were yet sinners, sabi ni Pablo sa Romans 5, God saved us while we were His enemies. So, we, we develop a lifestyle of grace, a heart of gratitude when we understand and we... Uh, um, submit to when we strengthen our hearts with God's sovereign redemptive plan. Yung huling huli po, alam ko mahigil mahaba, but I want for us to um, continue on and, and uh, be reminded of these wonderful truths. Ano pa po ang dapat nating uh, isipin? Uh, what would, should we saturate, saturate our minds in as we um, develop a lifestyle of praise? Well, we need to sabit ni ng ano ng uh, mga awit and the faithfulness of the lord endures forever the word faithfulness there at times uh is depicted as truth so how do we develop a lifestyle of gratitude kung maunawa natin ang kanyang katotohanan ay panghabang buhay in fact, it is for eternity. And so if he, he his truth is for eternity, right? Therefore, um, we know that he would not change, that he would not lie. Um, his promises will be kept and will be fulfilled. And so dapat tayo ma-encourage dito. This should help us develop a lifestyle of praise knowing that the very nature of God is in accordance to, um, or, or should I say, the promises of God, the truth of God, I, I, in accordance to His nature. He is eternal, therefore His truth is eternal. Therefore His faithfulness, that ang faithfulness niya ay direct, directly connected to, to His character, therefore ang truth niya ay everlasting. And so, kung pa, babal tayo sa katotohanan na do you want to develop a lifestyle of praise? Go to His truth. We live in a world full of fake news. So we go back to the truth. Jesus is the only truth that we need to um, embrace for us to develop a lifestyle of gratitude. Patuloy po tayo magbukas ng kanyang salita. It strengthens our hearts to, to know that Indeed, His truth is for eternity. Right? And so, nakakamangha po ang awit na ito. Dalawang verses lang, pero ito yung nagtu nagtuturo sa atin kung paano tayo magkaroon ng um, disposition na magpuri sa Diyos. Magkaroon ng praise the Lord at the beginning and praise the Lord at the end. That is through um uh, um be, be saturating our minds with God's sovereignty, with God's uh, uh, redemptive power, be strengthened in our hearts by God's redemptive, uh, oh, by God's um, conquering love, mighty love, and God's tru uh, eternal truth, or truth that is everlasting. Right? The next time you feel like you don't, feel like praising the Lord, remember the, these two verses. And again, mamangha tayo sa katukanan 
ng awit na ito. And as you go to scripture, go to God's word, makikita natin at mamamangha tayo na ang Panginoong Diyos ay tapat. Ang Panginoong Diyos ang tunay na source ng ating kaligayahan na hindi pwedeng maago ng ninuman at ito ay mag-uudyok sa atin na patuloy magpasalamat, matuloy na maging uh, um, grateful sa lahat ng ginawa ng ating Panginoon Diyos. The whole of Scripture, dear ones, points to these truths that we have seen in Psalm 117. Right? Ang dalangin ko po, mga kapatid, as We have been learning in the past uh, five days. Maging tulong po ito sa atin, sa ating pong buhay pa ng paltaya. Let me read the, the psalm to you again. Tangan-tanga at baon-baon ng katotohanan na ating uh, natunan. How do we develop a lifestyle of praise? We, we understand that God is sovereign over all the nations. We understand that and celebrate that God is the Redeemer. We celebrate His redemptive power. Um, how do we develop a lifestyle of praise? We um, are strengthened. We strengthen our mind with His conquering love. We strengthen our, our minds and, and our hearts with His truth, which endures forever. Praise the Lord, sabi nga ng mga awit, all nations. Extol Him, all peoples. For great is His steadfast love toward us, And the faithfulness of the Lord endures forever. Praise the Lord. Dalangin ko po maging sapat ito upang patuloy tayong puri sa Diyos. Right? So, let me pray for all of us. We thank you, Lord, for how you are sovereign, how you are uh, gracious in your redemptive plan, how your love is uh, a mighty conquering warrior, and how your truth is eternal. Dalangin namin, Panginoon Diyos, ang katuhanan ito ay uh, yumakap sa aming buong pagkatao upang patuloy kami magpasalamat at mamuhay para sa inyo. We thank you again, Lord, for this beautiful, beautiful reminder found in the shortest psalm in the whole book of Psalms. Maraming salamat muli sa inyong pagsasama sa amin. We depend on you, Lord. We entrust ourselves to you now, Lord. This is our prayer with much thanksgiving in Christ's name. Amen and Amen. Thank you for joining me. I'll see you all next week. God bless you. Ingat po kayo.